Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from KBandsTraining.com. Today we're going to be working on a drill that's great for overloading our muscles for more acceleration in a drop step fly ball over our shoulder. The reactive stretch cord power drop step is going to be an easy, simple setup with four speed and agility cones or anything you may have to spread out our distances so that we can work within the reactive stretch cord's resistance length. Anchors will be standing with the reactive stretch cord anchor strap wrapped around the wrist about five to six feet off the cone line. You're going to be moving, very mobile, walking backwards and forwards from side to side, adding the right amount of resistance to each angle drop step. Baseball players, when you put on the reactive stretch cord belt, we're going to make sure that it's nice and snug and we start with the 360 D ring off to the front of our body. Make sure that you've got the straps all lined up so that ring will slide around in a circle for each time that we drop step and sprint, we'll have that right angled resistance. The focus of this drill is important. We want to accelerate towards the cone using a bit of the assistance of the stretch cord and then we're going to accelerate to that diagonal reverse cone moving as explosively as we can. The key here is that we've accelerated our body so that when we turn and plant we've got a lot more muscle activation for the initial step into the sprint back. Now we've got to really overload our hips, drive through with our knees and use powerful arms to accelerate to that rear cone. Notice the anchor is going to slide with the athlete slowly trailing behind to get the right angle of resistance and then finish with that front cone to be in the right position to finish off the box. As with any speed training drill, it's important that you use the fundamentals of sprinting with proper arm action and knee drive even if we're changing direction. Maintaining a center and keeping complete control of your body is going to make you more explosive during a baseball game. The RSC Power Drop Steps is going to be a great drill for us to do in a large group or small group setting. The key is that we have enough equipment and that we're standing in the right place with the proper amount of spacing. Remember the reactive stretch cord only stretches to 20 feet, which is the optimal amount of distance that we can utilize through the dig phase of these small agility drills. So be active as an anchor and make sure that you've got that right angle of resistance, really trying to overload the drop back sprints. Complete anywhere between 6 and 10 resisted rounds with the reactive stretch cord to complete this workout series. Another great format of this drill is called the K-Band Shakedown Drill. This is going to be another great way that you can focus more on that knee drive as we drop back for those fly balls over our shoulder. For a reactive stretch cord or more baseball specific drills, head to kbandstraining.com and let's get started with your training today.